Hello there, Heywin here, and welcome to this first episode of Guild Wars 2 Presentations. The goal of those videos are to teach people who are not playing Guild Wars 2, who might be actually interested in the game but haven't get any real information so far. So this is to teach them what they will find and what they will get in Guild Wars 2. So if you are an uh, old timer, if you play the beta, if you play actually Guild Wars 2, if you follow the game like a big fan, you will probably not learn anything in those videos. So you've been warned. Those videos are meant to uh, teach people who are really uh, new to Guild Wars 2 and who didn't play it. So let's get started. In this first video, I will just present you uh, the UI and the map. So when you start a game, this is what you see. Pretty, right? So let's go. This UI is really um, basic but efficient. You have in the bottom completely, you have your experience bar with your level, level to go. You have your skills in the middle. You have your L pool your dodge bar what is a dodge bar well in this game you can either press the dodge uh, button or you can double tap uh, a direction and will dodge in that direction like that and the endurance go down as you spend uh, as you dodge and it go up slowly after that and what it does when you dodge is gives you one second immunity so in this game it's really not maybe not at low level but as you get higher it's start to be important to dodge at the right moment. Uh, we have your uh, your your skill here like I said earlier. Well in this game you have uh, two sets. On the left side they are uh, the weapon skills and on the right side they are the utility healing skills. Um, on the left side the weapon ones. They change uh, depending on the weapon you have equipped. So right now I wear double hex, double once and then hex. So I get a chop and cyclone and stuff like that. Those three first are my main hand, and the two last here are my uh, off hand. If I if I had a two-hander sword, all the five will be my two-hander sword. And to show you a uh, the small difference here we have swap weapons you unlock that at level 11 if I remember correctly and it allows you to quickly swap to another weapon uh, that you uh, already equipped in your hero tabs here I have a rifle and I have one in there two times so if I swap as you can see all my five skills here change and now I have a rifle in my hand and I get a range attack Alright, so let's go back to the uh, double axe. So those are really the uh, weapon uh, weapon skills. And here on the top, it uh, changed depending on your class. Uh, this is what you can call, uh, I don't know, a special attack for class. For me, it's a burst attack. It's called eviscerate with uh, my axes. And what it does is when I attack with my skills, weapon skills, I build adrenaline. And there's three phases of adrenaline. And of course, first phase uh, is uh, does less damage than second, who does less damage than third. So if you get full three bar, you can uh, use eviscerate. Well, you can use it before, but if you want to max the damage, you get all three, and you use your F1, which will drain all the adrenaline and deal a large chunk of damage let's just say it and it always depends on your class if you are an elementalist it will be f1 to f4 and you will be uh, allowed to swap between the uh, element fire water hurt and i think it's hair the last one or lightning whatever uh, if you are a hunter, it will be uh, pet stuff. Anyway, so it's changed with this depending on your uh, depending on your uh, class. 
And on the right side, you have the utility skills. The first one is your healing. Every class has a healing skill. Like that. It heals you and has a cooldown. And you have three utility skills that you unlock depending on your level. First is 5, second is, I can't remember, I think it's 10, third is 20. And here's the elite skill at level 30 that I don't have yet. But the way it works, uh, and I will show the, the skill level and progression in another video, but just to let you know, you unlock the different skills with uh, with skills point that you get from leveling or challenge, and you can put up to three different here. All right, so what we have again? Well, if I target something, because you can see the targets right there. It's really simple effective it gives you a small idea of what you can do it can put vulnerability on you which I think decrease your uh, your armor so you take more damage and when you you put uh, a dot in this game it's called uh, a condition you can see I have a cripple here I will throw that and boom it cripples it's crippled for a second so it's called a condition and I can also have a, a boon which are people who know it's buff here I have fury increase your chance to crit by 20% uh, it will appear here I have my singing of might which is a constant buff well uh, a boon in this game uh, so yeah this is uh, your uh, uh, where's the debuff Let's just uh, now that I think about it, I can't remember where's the uh, the condition on myself if I have. I think it, they will be here on top here, but or maybe up here, but it doesn't really matter. Just need to know that here are your boons and the condition that you apply are on the target, and the condition that they apply to you might be here or here. I can't remember. Uh, so that's for the skills here. You have a map. You can make it bigger. Well, it's already has the biggest, but you can make it smaller. Uh, you have some stuff here. Your quest here. The green like that is my uh, story quest. You have a dynamic event that will appear if there is a dynamic event close to you. And then... Um, the the other quest, the Earth one, Renon, will also pop when you get closer. Here you have the menu, different stuff that I will cover in others video, and you have a party frame here. So a quick uh, quick invite, you can type the name of the person and invite. Chat here, you can. Uh, this is the normal chat, but you can go also to the combat one, combat log. You have your option here, and yeah, that's that's sum up about for the uh, user interface interface burden. And the other thing I wanted to do in in this first video was the map. So let's do this. The map in this game is really nice. There's a lot of stuff uh, to see. Here's the first map I did. It's Metrica Province. I did 100 person completion. What it does when you get 100 person, you get a, a, a chess and there's gear in that. So. And how you do that? Here you have your completion for this map that I am in. Uh, Brisbane Wildlands. I have 75 person done. I did uh, 13 of 16 tasks. I got 9 of 12 waypoint. 16, 19 point of interest, skill challenge 4 and 8, and Vista 5 and 7. In this map, you can see really um, everything you need. Like, those are the waypoint. And if you are somewhere, you can just. Uh, there is no mount on, in this game, but there is waypoint. So you can, wherever you are, if you unlock a waypoint, you can pay a fee to go there. I see it's 16 copper. 17 copper and can move quickly there uh, so that's the waypoint those hurt are the uh, task we'll uh, talk about that in the leveling video later 
uh, you have point of interest uh, usually when a point of interest is a place that will uh, pop a, a dynamic event or something close to that so you might want to go check them out this is a, this game is a lot about exploration we have skills challenge I will talk about that too in uh, 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 progressing uh, character progression video but as you can see when they are empty they, they I have to earn it and with full I have already done and there is the Vista which I will talk about them in this video because it's not there's not a lot of an, a lot to tell about them but basically do I have one that I didn't made well anyways I have five of seven as you can see I made I got them what the Vista are they are basically jumping puzzles there will be a something somewhere and you need to find out how to get to there so you might have to jump on different thing and and it's really just a, an exploration stuff it's not it just gives you experience but at the same time it's really it's fun it's a small challenge it's and it's different to just kill stuff so yeah that's about for the map and here's the world completion as you can see I'm not sure what you get but I believe that when you will have 100 person world completion the uh, chest might be really nice and that's the world you can move out like a google map or stuff alright uh, so I think that sum up for this first video this was really basic UI map I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, in the future video we'll cover crafting uh, leveling uh, depending on dynamic events, stuff like that, uh, kind of quest, uh, character progression. Uh, we'll also cover PvP at some point, and those are for the Guild Wars 2 presenta presentation series. But I will also uh, upload video of different uh, big dynamic events, like not just single player one, but that require big groups of people. Well, I will upload them too, and just to show you. Uh, how awesome this game can be honestly I have a blast playing that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye bye